Well, uh, it's if he, uh, but it's extended period of time here, so uh, uh, we. Uh, uh, I wouldn't dare make a prediction when it could be. Uh, it's likely uh, we'll IR him, and uh, so we'll uh, see kind of how his rehab goes. All right, so that's uh, our, our our owner. Um, Jerry Jones on Dak Prescott's status. He is out for several weeks. He's not supposed to return until December 9th when we play the Bengals. And we're going into our toughest stretch of the season, okay? Like, this is not time for this. And then, all of a sudden, Dak, oh, let's put him on IR. Oh, wait, let's go get Jonathan Mingo for a fourth round. Let's give up a fourth round pick. Okay, so let's let's draw this into perspective, Cowboys fans. So we give up a fourth round pick for this guy. What did we get for Amari Cooper a couple years ago? A fifth rounder. That's it. So you're telling me right now that Jonathan Mingo is better than Amari Cooper? Stop it. Jerry Jones is an idiot. This man continues to make poor decision after poor decision. And you had your chance to go all in. You had your chance. All off season. You had your opportunity. Why are you going all in all of a sudden right now? And then my favorite part is they could have had Derrick Henry. Like, I want to put it past them. And he said, he said Derrick Henry would not have the same season in Dallas. Why would you say that about your own team? If we, yeah, if we sign this elite player, nah, he wouldn't be that good. And, and oh, by the way, we could use him. We're 31st well, in the league in rushing offense. We could he, use him. That's what he's saying. Like, oh, our rushing attack isn't that great. Maybe because you don't have Derrick Henry. You have Rico Dowdle and Ezekiel Elliott, who was just and, a healthy scratch. And then we waited until week eight to play Dalvin Cook. I mean, he was somehow on our on, roster. I we, forgot about it until he played. Yeah. That's how bad it was. I was like, where is he at? I was waiting for him all season. I'm like, okay, so we signed him for no reason, apparently. We hadn't even played him the whole season. What's the point? We're three and five. I think we should just tank. But At this the, point, yeah, especially if Dax well. hurt at this point, there's no pain like what's the point? And we might as well, Micah Parsons might as well not even come back. Yeah. And there's no point. I mean, he he. I don't even know if he he should be available for the game against the Eagles, but they still don't know yet. Yeah, I mean that way him and Darius Slay can go record their podcast after. And dude, that that's the thing that gets me the most. Micah Parsons, I'm talking directly to you right now, because for you to go on your podcast with Trayvon Diggs last week. And say what you said about Dak Prescott not being in the top five quarterback conversation. First of all, that's bad for your team. Second of all, s- just stay focused on football. Like I get you want to you know spread your brand around and talk football, but like you are a leader on this team, or you're supposed to be a leader on this team. You're not supposed to be going and talking about teammates behind your back. Now Dak can handle it because he's a good guy, but still, why would you do that? That and because I'm not against players having their podcast doing their own thing until it gets to that point. Like, because even Darius Slay going on a division rival players podcast laughed at CJ Gardner Johnson giving up touchdowns after him and Micah Parsons went back and forth on Twitter. And it's just ridiculous. Darius Slay has been getting on my nerves this season. Like, after the Drake London play against the Falcons, he walks a good route, walks away laughing. I wasn't laughing. Nobody on that sideline was laughing. It And what and, blows my mind the most is Dak Prescott is on the sideline, injured, saying, we suck. You know why we suck? Because of you! And we paid you $60 million. We gave you the most money in NFL history, and you have the audacity to say we suck. Okay, you're right. Are you talking about yourself here? Is that what you're saying? You might as well say you suck, not we, because there's a difference. Okay, you are the quarterback. You are the re- you're the Dallas Cowboys quarterback. You control everything. That's how it works. That and all season, like there's clips of him after saying "Don't jump off now," like all this stuff, and then it got to the point they just kept losing. He just like, yeah, we suck. After that it's game, I jumped. I jumped off after that game. By the way, oh, I, yeah. I jumped off. And, and oh yeah, and you guys play us at home, so that's an automatic win. We can't win at home. We we, we haven't won our last four home games. We haven't won a home game I mean, since December thirtieth, twenty twenty three. That is the last time we've won a home game. Not kidding. That's insane. <laughs> that <laughs> against oh the Lions, gosh. it was that lucky game. 
where Skipper was ineligible. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about that. And then the Saints dropped 50 on you guys in Dallas. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to talk about that. That was bad. That was bad. Oh, uh, we we uh, right now we have a 10% chance to make the playoffs and we've the fifth toughest remaining schedule in the NFL according to tankathon.com. So we are officially screwed. But is Cooper Rush? He w- last time we saw him as a starter, he was 5 and 1. Yeah. So uh, is it going to be better? It I want to put it past him. I mean, Dak has 11 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. Yeah, which is like not that's, great. No. Cuz he's always had like the interception problem. I wouldn't say always, but he's had the interception problem, but it, people could argue like, "Oh, they're not all his fault." And then, "Oh, he has the touchdowns at least." Like he as an Eagles fan, I can admit, I was always like down on Dak. Like he's not an elite quarterback, but he's not he shouldn't be playing how he has been. Well, I think his stats are also very deceiving because, like, when you look at his numbers, they're not that bad. No. But, but then you look at him on the field. Like, dude, we are the second best passing offense in the league. How? Because you only pass. Right. Right. That's what he – and that you do have to cut him some slack with that because, like, even – I keep going back to the Eagles for references. But, like, early in the season, we wouldn't give Saquon the ball, especially early in the game. We didn't score a four, first quarter – we didn't score at all in the first quarter until last week. Like, people don't understand how much establishing the run or having even a decent run game, how much that can really impact the pass game. Yeah, I mean, because also, like, when in early in games, you're trying to establish a run, and then when you can't, you start playing like you're behind and you start throwing the football. And that's what's happened yeah. with Dallas, like, so many times this year. Like, San Francisco, we got behind. Ravens, we got behind. So we're throwing the football every single play. And that's just not our offense. And then C.D. Lamb, to me, I mean, where has he been? I mean, he's been an absolute ghost town. We gave him all this money. And he's, he's having a horrible attitude. Like, I, I really don't like the way this Cowboys defense is being coached either. Mike McCarthy's running jet sweeps on fourth and one. I mean, what is that? And then he's lining up C.D. Lamb in the backfield. I mean, Come on. Like, this is not 2012, Mike. Like, get over this. You are you need to be gone. Yeah. He needs to be gone. It, it, and, and Jerry Jones, I, I don't, he needs to be gone too. Like, if you could fire an owner, I totally would. <laughs> like, I, if imagine if fans could have the choice of voting, hey, should we keep an owner here or not? We should have that power. We really should because... Jerry Jones doesn't even know what he's doing half the time. He's like, well, you know, let's get, let's go all in. And then, you know, in the week 10, you had how many months? What? February, March, April, May, June, July. You had all these months before the season to make your moves. Well, that, and then the amount of receivers that got traded before the deadline. Dude. And and he waited until the deadline to get. Jonathan and what's crazy is the fourth round pick is what Deontay Johnson and Hopkins were. That was around yeah. their value. And you're telling me Mango is on their level? Absolutely not. He's he's literally the worst receiver in yards per target. He, what Wait. probably happened is the Cowboys were like, we'll give you a fourth for him. And the Panthers were like, Re- a fourth? Like, like, <laughs> like, bro, and then we gave up a third rounder for Trey Lance, which is he going to make an appearance? I, I don't. He must be that bad. To be behind well, he was, was he injured last week? I think he was out, and then well, he w- well the thing with like third string quarterbacks is like in t- oh. they're inactive until yeah. the first string gets hurt. So then he's he's available to play. He dresses, but like it, is Trey Lance really that bad of a player that he can't win the starting job over Cooper Rush? I mean, is it that bad? That I mean, at the least they could throw him out there for some like Taysom Hill type plays. Like, because Cooper Rush isn't going to rush. If you, you have no rushing game. The worst you, the least you could do is throw Trey Lance out there. QB. uh, Like we might as well do a read option or something like that. I mean, I I think we should see what we have, but at this, like, because screw it. I mean, we got to see if we're going to keep him in the future or not. Or if we can draft a quarterback in this coming draft. We got to make a decision now. Because we're not making the playoffs. We're not going to a Super Bowl. No. We're not doing none of that. It, it, and Jerry still thinks that. 
He still he still thinks that, dude. Yeah. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me nice. I'm from 